What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back with some Red hey. Dead. Hey, y'all. Hello. Evening. How you doing? I'm fine. Okay. Folks are worried about you, that's all. All right, then, Arthur. Okay there, Dutch? Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney? And the others? If there's a chance, well, I'm on it. Let's go see Hosea. Hey, Arthur. Hosea? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Potosia? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Potosia. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I, well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. If there's a decent dealer there, we'll unload him. You can buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on him. Let's get going. <laughs> okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses, and the stables always have the best ones. Oh, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. He won't throw me? No, he's an angel, if I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Let's get this on right, boy. Put your saddle on him and let's go. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that group. Easy, big feller. All right, let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good no one longer. Back at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. That turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was passed out so cold we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or... Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Just feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Yeah, good boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Yeah, that's it, boy. I sure hope your hell raising days are around. Stables are just up ahead. All right. Go sell that big brute and buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Meet you back here in a bit. Hey, how can I help you? 
I'm in the market for a new horse, something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. Yeah. yeah what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Yeah, take a look. partner you got yourself a deal and a fine new horse i hope so well i don't sell anything other than good animals you have my word on that here are your papers and on me a new grooming brush and some treats <laughs> appreciate it all right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. Looks like a nice animal you got there. You happy? Guess we'll see. Let's go, boy. All right, let's get going. You got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So. What's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. At this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Thank you. 
Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place, Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains to see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Look there, rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have to... hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes, and obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Good job. All right. It's getting late. I reckon we should camp here. Sure. Now then, you get the set up. Oh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're... Delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. <laughs> you want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. To get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. You better be worth all this drama. <clears throat> hmm. 
Morning, Arthur. Oh. You ready? Oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track them, but we might need to lay bait to draw them out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. And a lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous, but we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries, tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually weaned on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. What's the hold up? Okay, let's go. Okay, boy. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were loose back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen. If Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Oh! Look for tracks, dung, bones. Any sign of him. Well, oh, there's some paw marks here, Hosea. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks going up the trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if anything else.
Something else on the ground, just here. There's shit here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going. like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. Well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. We have here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. No, it's too close. Fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. It's nothing at all. Thank you. I think. That was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming or you gonna track that monster? Well. I'm gonna stick around here for a while. <laughs> uh. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah. Show you. Yeah, still a ways.
Let's go get this big bastard. Gotta be close. Jesus Christ! God damn, look at that fucking scar. Okay there. <laughs> I hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> Good luck to you. Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, boy. <laughs> All right, boy. Work with it. Oh, I know those scars anywhere. Looks like Barati met his match at last, huh? My congratulations. So, buying or selling? Okay, let's take a look at it. Boy, the things I can make with this. Quality hide makes the hardiest clothes around. Don't know. Hmm. 
wonder. was it friends. Yes. Yes. Just lift as hard as you can. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You saved me. Be right back, ladies and grants. Okay. I did buy gluten free breads, but I also bought Hawaiian bread.
Sorry about that, folks. Family members know how it is. All right. So we were going to go look for that Jack Hall gang treasure, but... I could have been stuck here and starved or eaten. Oh, you poor, dumb animal. Oh. What'll I tell Mildred? Do you need a ride home, ma'am? Oh. oh, yes, mister, please. Thank you. Do you know Valentine? I live there. No problem. Yep. normally travel this far alone, you know. I was off inquiring about a possible new line of work. I, I borrowed a friend's horse for the trip. Hello, See, my husband... Well, it's just me and my boy now, and it's hard to find work. Mm, I'm sure it is. A good opportunity. That's what I'm looking for. Not much work for a woman with a boy to raise. I won't work in no saloon, but I've got sharp eyes and quick hands. I was hoping to get a job working as a seamstress. A wealthy man said he'd pay me for the work. Sounds promising. Also doesn't sound real. Oh, you may be right, I suppose. He said he'd provide room and board for me and for my child. He wanted to meet me first. I'd be careful with offers like that, ma'am. I can't afford to dismiss offers like yeah. these, even if they do seem odd. Just be careful is all I'm saying. I may not have another opportunity like this. Now I'll have to pay Mildred back for her horse. It sure sounds like you're in a hard position. You finding me is the only good thing that's happened to me in a long while, sir. Close now, just a little further. Hello. Go on, get going. Quit walking in my way, then, jackass. you for all your help. You're a good man. Glad I was able to help. You take care. Appreciate it. You be well. Ma'am, will you be all right from here? I'll find my way. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh well. Yep. New patron. Welcome. Well, I use this space as a blacksmith too. So let me know if you see. Sure. Huh. Good, good. Now this should be fun. Howdy, partner. Yeah, you know, let's take a banny. Well, look here. Maybe this is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. He's been poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Gets some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive, I got it. Me? Ah, oh, no. Sorry, you must have me confused. Come on, boy. Howdy, sir. Hey. Easy. Yep. 
Uh, what we got here? Are you Benedict Albright? Oh, sir. Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard of, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold if you could help me find him. It's just, my mother's real sick. Oh, well, if that's the case, if it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know, a medical man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. Yeah, the price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. Hold on. I'm slipping. Shit. <laughs> oh, you saved me. Now, come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, hey, you saved my life. Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. <sighs> Don't jump. Oh, 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 what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Uh, bye, friend. Ow. I really do not like you. Shit. I got a cross. Swim to the edge! Er, grab on to something! Get over to the bank! Look out! The rapids! Hold your breath! I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way.
car, girl. Seem to keep blacking out. Where's that horse got to? Oh, sir, this isn't necessary. I'm a medical man, a healer. It's all just a big mistake. Oh, I don't feel very well. I told you to shut up. Well, who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. Oh, I don't feel well at all. You're a bully, sir. With me, boy. <laughs> Easy, girl. Okay, girl. Oh, my lord. I wasn't expecting you back so soon. Uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was, uh, was just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? I'm selling the back. Told you to shut up, partner. Oh, but I told but you. nothing. Shut up. And uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. You ask folks for forgiveness. You remember this, partner? I've already forgotten. Now, sir, um, how much was you offering? Uh, fifty dollars. Here. Thank you, madam. Now, please remember what I told you.
If you ain't got the papers, I can't give you the full price. Yep, we can pick that up. Good choice. All right, back to the treasure hunt. The Caliban seats. This should be about right here. Boys, you hey, the address. Quit this damn foolishness. Oh, it, right? But you know what? what you swear? staring at? Well, move hey. along. I guess. <laughs> you you might have just saved my life, stranger. You're a gentleman. I'm, I'm, I'm going to see to my ailings. Thank you, Mister. Really. Okay, boy. Let's go. You're all right, boy. Howdy, partner. Hey there, partner. Hey. You look like a man on a mission. Okay. Yep.
next day. All right. Says so I should be about right here. All this up, and there should be a camp. Towards the top. Use some of this later. All right, should be a break. Enough. All right. Jump across and climb the larger rock at the end. Another very small ledge. Oh shit. Arthur, careful. Jack Hall gang map number two. Looks like burning trees, geysers. Huh. Fort Wallace. Parada Springs. What we got? Window rock. So let's Oh, if we jump down from here, we're dead. Got just enough for running start. Oh shit. Lean towards the mountain. Damn it. Okay. Yep. 
You should just be wandering around here, friend. That's it. <laughs> I was up, Christina Couch. Just sorry, just saw your message. some help hey why not oh shit god damn it <laughs> forgot about that I support bastard that gets killed by buck, gets bucked by his horse.
Easy now. Tall man here Finny now, don't. Mal and Newt, they sees you veer and squirrely, they veer squirrely likewise. When they fails me, you fails me. Don't bend to the blandishing, because there's nothing but damnation out there. We sell to him, don't you? But he keeps apart, like we always keep. The outlands in the shadows, like I says it is. We're free and Freaking heck! You come to uh.
If I remember correctly, this homestead has a huge stash of cash. Normally, Javier was the one that helps pick us out. You okay? You dick. Should have killed the horse. But we still got the money. And we're even closer to our point. Easy. 
Hey, Annie. Colorado Springs. Hey, mister, help me. My horse died and I'm stuck here. Uh, you gotta help me, mister. No need for fancy talk, eh? Raise your hand. Uh, 
All right, we're getting there. Yeah, okay, boy. There, boy. All right, boy. Oh, st still got a ways to go. All right, three geysers. It says that there's a rock formation. Let's see. One, two, three. A certain rock formation. There it is. Maximo said two max. <laughs> right. Yes, I got what I paid for. All right. Looks like we just keep heading this way. We gotta get to here. After we get this last little bit of treasure, we'll head on to another main mission. Go up now. Before we go in the back, come out the back. Right. 
and we're going back on ourselves. Front, back, sideways, dress up as hogs, make a damn decision. What the hell? No, no, no! <laughs> All sorts of killing. Oh, we need to go this way. you down anyway you goddamn fool i'll blow your worthless brains out Yep. 
Hey, partner. You looking for something? All right, simmer down. You're all right. Good boy. Okay, then. Some space. I got no business with you. Easy now. Yep. Are you out your damn mind? 
There, there you go. You all right? Yeah. We got the treasure.
What's up? Hey, mister. Hello? Just wish today was over already. Oh, shame. Howdy. Hey, boy. Nice to see you. Enjoy your trip. Saloon like Come on, there's got to be a fight every night in that shithole. Just show some respect next time. We've run far worse than you out of town before. Oh, come on, man. Someone throws a punch, you punch back. Don't bother pretending different. As far as I care, you ain't even here. Yep. <laughs> okay, boy. What's the matter with you? Evening, sir. What the hell are you doing? Hey. Hey. Greetings. What can I do for you? Ah, let's have a look. It's yours now. We can do a lot with this. New trigger, brand new bolt, your pick. Smile on your face, guaranteed. I got some nice carved stocks here. I think you should take one. Carry it with pride. You know what? I bet I can make this piece work a lot better for you. Bolts, triggers, parts, back here.
Mm-hmm. That's it for now. Thanks for your assistance. Hey, mister, get at you. Come over here. I'm in a real bind. This fella, he's in a bad way. You gotta help me. Y'all pay me. Okay, okay, calm down. Where is he? He's inside. Upstairs. Come with me. I'll show you. Let me just do something real quick. Because last time I tried helping this bitch, I, I ended up in dead. Mayor Ham, I swear. What the hell is it? I gotta clean this room. Can you get rid of him, please? I'll give you all the money I got. Bastard started beating on I me. I must really be losing my he mind. He was this a time. demon in human shape. You know, there's a pig not too far. Just dump the body in there, and they'll eat him up in no time. I wish I could squeeze his eyeballs to bush. Oh, jeez. Ah, oh, just get out of here. Stay away from me. Damn this. I'm getting Oh, no, off. you... See what I mean? Serpentine, serpentine, serpentine.
I'm gonna have to kill him, aren't I? Hey boy, yeah.
there it's me look what the cat dragged in don't get too comfortable now i won't well that's why you can we got work to do soon all right morgan Yes, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Matthews gave me a message for you. He said when it was convenient to head into Emerald Ranch. He's looking at a few business things there. Okay. Oh, he'll find something, too. He always does. Will you be well now, Mr. Morgan? I'm always well, Miss Grimshaw. One night when I was frisky and too much cold to whiskey Like waves on the bay of 50 I began to tumble and roar My face is red like a lobster I fell and broke my poor lobster my watch from my mouth was Texter. I never get drunk anymore. Oh. Yeah. I resolved to try it. I live on a moderate diet. So the drink, but I'll deny it. Hey, folks. Good morning, Arthur. A stew without good meat is no stew at all, Mr. Morgan. 
Good job, Mr. Morgan. Mercy. Come on. Mercy. Speak. Don't cry, boy. Speak about your gang. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a Horse. while. Oh, shit. You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah, oh, my kid. One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld here. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. <laughs> you know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll was holed up, and you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at six point captain. Uh, I'll take you there. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. Oh, none taken. Okay then, partner. Uh, Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Well, you sure as shit was. John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, kill him. Sure. You're gonna pay your buddies our respect. You taking us to That's what he says. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Look, I I'll give you more directions when we're close. But if I know where we are, it's up past Valentine. All right, I'll leave. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one. And you smell like. God damn. You smell like one, too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knots in your saddlebag. Doug said that you might. <coughs> I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. time you want to give me some hiding it some opportunity comes up to mention it last goddamn favor i do you hey hey if, if i got my bearings it's over here yeah i know this country take this track up through the rocks uh, how you holding up john fine still ain't right but i'm fine Damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you, if you was in a bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. You see, O'Driscoll? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. 
I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Well, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of it. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. Now we go left, the uh, road will take us up and round. Those are the hills, head for them. Save your horses, we gotta climb, boys. You know, you all ain't that different from the old Driscolls. What did you just say? I've been watching you. All these weeks, and, uh... You've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say you don't know much about the O'Driscolls. But maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then. How are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them. You're out to survive like them. You live rough. You live hard. Fighting the law, nature. You're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive. We're out to live, free. Cohen's a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is, Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boys, we're almost on them. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting. Here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet. Taking them out as... Find them. Try not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right then. Through the trees here. Ha! Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off my horse, and I'm ready. Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives. I said easy.
Sorry about that. My family was trying to look for the baby kitten, and the kitten was hiding in here fast asleep. Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. Just over the ridge. Okay, get down. The cabin's in the clearing down there. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellers armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Well, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out, booze blind, likely as not. And over there, someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. The feller that spooked the game, I reckon. I'm going to drain it. I'll catch up. No, we ain't going to fall for that. We're going to wait so you can tell them yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually going to shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. Mm -hmm, yes, yeah, sir. Come on, shake it off. Come on. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? What hey, what's going on? <clears throat> It's yours, Williamson. Okay. I got him. You know what's really quiet? A knife. Don't you damn move. The next two. What's the plan? We're waiting. Let's get close to these two. Make no mistakes here. That's what the knife's for. When we're there, we move at the same time. Come on, get down this hill or I'll pull you down it. Cry! You lost your mind. <laughs> game. I left a guide up there. He's meek as a little lamb. He better be. Over here. Got on the law. What are we doing about him? This one's mine. We need it done right. You don't want to show us, do Okay, now what? We're at the perimeter. Time to move on. You ready? I'll ever be. Let's go. How you doing, I'm just...
still here. He said he'd be hiding in the cabin. I'm going to check it. Search out here. Make sure we ain't missed anything. Now, what you stashing in here? You all right? Sure. Thank you. <sighs> Come, O'Driscoll. He ain't here. You set us up. Come here! What? You set us up. No, I didn't. You did. Come, O'Driscoll ain't here! He was here, I swear! I swear! I mean... If I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have saved your life. It's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. So? So I'm one of you now. Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, hey, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, there's usually some cash in the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. <laughs> hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing just yet. <laughs> right you are. Here.
At least you got something tucked away. Source.
Mister, how you do? I'm just in a friendly mood today for some reason. That's good well, to hello again. Ready for a clean slate? Now this record is cleared anywhere you go. See you later. Yeah. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting. I don't do so well. Please. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Respective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown, what you talking about? Good day, Isaiah. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur. Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now, you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Carmody Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? The other one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call him. Oh, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Oh. 
could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Jose. That feller's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches, that's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. Is that what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. You're all right. You're all right. Yeah, you're doing good. Oh, that must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot for me. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay, let's take a quick look at the place. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. Home, son. Sure is. Get him down. Please get him down here. Yeah. Get lost, mister. I was lost. How many years? I was lost many years. Now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, <laughs> here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I'm just chatting with Junior here. Did you sell it something for the free? Final. I'm like. What? Old age. 
and old. Yes. I drink gin. And what is gin made with? Let's grab this stagecoach and get out of here. too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. It wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're going to stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yeah. He's easy. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. 
Park that thing in here. Quickly. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches at me selling, I'll see what I can offer you for. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Nah, I'll catch up with you later. Okay. Stay out of trouble. Okay, boy. Let's go. done. Thank you. 
Let's go, boy. Here. Your distance will both be keeping the fine. Just give me a minute, boy. Arthur, roll out the red. 
red carpet. Arthur's back. Yeah, good boy. Whiskey kind of morning, yeah. Dutch, Ms. O'Shea. Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. You uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah. Dutch. Officer. What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, and... son. Breathe. They nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah. Of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur, no crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. You know, it makes you wonder what would happen if we could have left his ass in there, you know? Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You were supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was, you worried too much, kid. Just, just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike and New, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're going to go get them? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. 
settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Here we are. You own something? Pick up after you again. I'll lay off. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. And you'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff. A lot like of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. <laughs> oh, they're dullards. My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> <laughs> and leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone for <sighs> Listen, buddy, you're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business, so could you possibly leave us alone? No offense in ten. Ain't no pleasing some folk. Just trying to be friendly. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? You see that feller I was with? Don't ask me. Hey, Lenny! You know which way my friend went? No idea. Lenny? Can't find my friend. You know where he went? I'm afraid I don't know. Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Wrong feller to ask. Hey! What are you doing, kid? Hello, Arthur. You know what? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing you see, is it? Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Now! Whoa, Lenny, where are you at? Come on! Who do you think you're talking to? Nobody. I'm talking to nobody. What did you say? What? I said, what did you say? Get off, buddy. Shut up, mister. Yeah. Shut your mouth, mister. Not very big there, Arthur. Lenny! Bastard! Ha <laughs> ha! Found 
you, Lenny. Lenny? <laughs> Maybe you should switch to water, my friend. There you are, Lenny. Do I look like a Lenny to you? Oh, Lenny! Lenny! How many of you have, pal? Been looking all over for you, Lenny. I'm Clyde. You got the wrong fella. Lenny, where are you hiding now? Lenny, I'm a boy. Lenny, what are you talking about? Okay, boy. <laughs> That's a strong looking horse.
who's there? Arthur, dumbass. Hope you had a good old time while I've been stuck standing here. What you up to? Well, there's plenty of work to do around here. Valentine, almost perverse. Seems polar opposite or romantic. Well, I don't know. Some lady I was speaking to in town told me about a curse. A curse? Well, nothing's more romantic than a curse. So, we found the old Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of calm. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Morning, Mr. Morgan. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Thank you, Art. very into my crafting at the moment, Mr. Morgan. I'm very happy to make you something if you bring me the right materials. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Isn't it good to be out of that goddamn snow? Why are you so chipper? We're gonna be good. We are gonna be great. Faith, my son. Faith. Miserable soft sack of shit. Oh. Oh. Nice tongue you got there, lady. Hey there. Sometimes I think about the old days. Seems a lifetime ago. I don't want to think about the old days. You did good in town, finding out about that train. Thank you. It was fun. Well, I wouldn't say it was all fun. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure. Let's do the Strauss mission. Chances are it'll get us our horse back quicker. Hey, Arthur. Ready? All good here? <sighs> All fine. Good. Stay alert. Mr. Morgan, Mr. Morgan, Reverend, I just want to thank you for saving my life. The liquor is not my friend, Mr. Morgan, it really isn't. I make such a fool of myself. Don't worry about it. You're a fine man. Now, lying on the other hand, that really is a sin. <laughs> hey, 
Herr Morgan! <coughs> Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss. You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Blown in. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me. But more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky, runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. We us belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. I miss it so much. It goes without saying. Oh, what am I going to do? You're going to stop. Morning, Arthur. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper, but where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time. <laughs> Always the show, man. Killed the pelt. Damn. Yeah. Just give it 
<laughs> Thank you. Really. Leave me be. Here. That's a fine steed. Got some stable space for rent if you're interested. Sorry, but without the papers, I can't pay you full price. Welcome back. Something slip your mind before? No meal is complete if it don't got meat. Again? Never too soon, huh? Hey there, pal. Can you help me? Come again. Could you use some Come on, ladies. This is our way home. Smile on your face. I can't make it. You know. I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in the right direction? Sure, sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly do. Welcome back. Something slipped your mind before? Okay, <laughs> boy. Whew. Wouldn't believe it unless I'd seen it. Here, okay, boy. All right, boy. been turning the screw on me from day one saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it and well I guess you just saw how that panned out.
Knock, knock, Mr. Robe. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? English? Me? Silesia. Yeah, good I'll for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. Do you borrow from a German man? Ah, so. German. Uh, um, Mein Herr, sprechen das des der Kaiserreich. I don't speak German neither. I'm here for money, money that you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Well, no, have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. Where is he? No. No. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu. Znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. Where is the money? Gold! Dollars! Nie rób tego! 
I have nothing. Ah! You scam up Shiwi. No, no, no. Money, but but I have this. It's, it's good. It's good. It's valuable. Is is Varshava? Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. There'll be something somewhere. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. What you got behind there? So, uh, surprise, I mean, near to me. Move aside. You must have come here with something. Just suck on me, I must not touch you. What do we have here? Just keep quiet. Longer I look, the madder I get. Don't even speak English. about cover things.
Hey, he's hey there. You there. Would you be interested in some friendly competition? Come all the way north from Mexico to challenge a real American gunslinger. You him? Me? Hey, a real gunslinger? Let's find out. Okay, man. That's what I like to hear. Look, man, rules are simple, okay? Whoever shoots more of these bottles wins. Just draw your gun and aim when you're ready. All right? <laughs> Shoot! Damn it all! How the hell did you beat me, huh? Ugh. Better shot, I suppose. Ah, oh, that didn't make me happy at all. How about we raise the stakes, huh? All right, let's do it. Aha, that's a good call, amigo. Okay, whoever shoots four birds out of the sky first wins. See? Full enough? Stand near me, and as soon as they come out, it's anyone's shot. Be patient. Ah, there they go. Shoot! You can shoot, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, here it is, okay? Man of my word. Appreciate it. Sure. <laughs> Better watch out next time. You'll see.
can I find her? Lily? Just over there by the store with Cooper. Go on. Try and take me out again. See where it gets you. It's you. Hello, mister. All right, take a look. Too many questions about his previous ownership. Not a word, Mr. Wagner. Nor no one else. Any idea of the whole I mean? Oh, come on! Why is it always got to be such a goddamn performance with you? Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's got to be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then. I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing except a lessening. Damn murder! Son of a bitch! For this, just go. On the world, go to hell.
boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. All right, boy. Chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long shark. You owe us money. Come on. There, boy. Yeah. Taking your teeth as well. Blow me down. You're coming with me. Ah. Aren't you gonna untie me? Let's go for a ride. You got the map. Do the decent thing. Moses. Come on, man.
Wagon, sir, transporting a fugitive. Hey, hey, you. Ooh, this looks serious. I won't ask you, Dad. Move out of the way. Get me out of here. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Shut up and keep still.
Yep, yep. been bringing in money? Of course I have. Okay, well, good. Okay, then. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. No, I usually do. I know. I know. Job. 
is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, but go forward. the rest of your life robbing banks. What do you think America is? Oh, I've been reading Mr. Miller again. It's my weakness. What do you think America is? I get you. Well, it's like you said. America's a club. The idea is almost before I can speak. Or no fun being an educated Negro fam. I always get the feeling he was a great man. You were Paul. Not great, just normal and good. I saw it turned out different. of America, maybe we're the true Americans, and those buffoons in their clubs, they're the traitors. Huh, maybe. Only problem, Dutch, is we don't make the rule. They do. Yeah, that is a problem, isn't it? Arthur. 
Thank you. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. I think it's about time we called it on this for now. We'll come back maybe tomorrow. Already says we're a quarter through the game. There he is. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke and I was going off to get married that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck and, well, it's a long story and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls or whatever the polite term is for them that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again. If you could spare me a little bit of your time, I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Holy oh, woman. Let's let Arthur get some sleep.